We love hip hop. Doobie update. I was actually pontificating and pondering on on Doobie the other day. <laughs> I know that he dropped some music not too long ago, but um, after that music drop, I was wondering like, how much stuff do they have ready to go? Um, like I just have he kind of went ghost. You know what I'm saying? There was like ha- I haven't seen him posting online. If I can go on to his page right now, uh. Let's see. Let's see if there's any story posts. Because I haven't even seen the blogs like really post anything that's been going on with him. You know what I'm saying? So it might be like he's dealing with... Because remember, this is a, uh, it's not no light case. This is a serious case. So he might have be going through it where, you know, you got to go through the legal stuff. Um, your lawyer's like, telling you all the different things that you know are coming your way and you know you got to prepare yourself sometimes it's not time for rap you know what i'm saying hold on let me see if i can pull up doobie's account on the screen here as far as his people i don't really have a, a a connection with his people like that like i don't talk to any of his people behind the scene like that so you know i haven't received any personal updates on him but I have been like, what what happened? Like after that album drop, um, they kind of just went quiet. And I know it's tough to to keep up the the promotion while you're inside. Like, you know what I'm saying? When it like, wow, see they even minimized the amount of posts here on the Instagram to three posts. All right. Um, this is the most recent album that dropped. All right. And after that post, and when's this post from? This is from June 30th. Okay. Out now. All right. Seven song EP, basically. But since then, like, it's kind of hard to, to keep up momentum. Especially when you drop a full album. Once you drop the album now, it's like, go stream it is, is basically the point of dropping an album right and you're you know it's better when you're home obviously to do different things to keep on drawing attention back to that album um whether it's putting out new songs to complement the album um doing live performances and letting people know hey go check out my album it's out right now but there's a campaign that surrounds this the album drop so when guys like Doobie and different guys, like even like with Five and stuff, um, Top Five, who's incarcerated, um, and other artists, when you drop that full body of work or an EP or something like that, the follow-up is not there unless you have like a whole bunch of things in the vault or a whole bunch of, um, how would you call it? Like campaign strategies that you can keep on doing to, to keep you up online, right? And... The thing is with Doovy, um, he's not an online guy. He wasn't an online guy prior to going in, inside, okay? He wasn't, like, consistently posting online. When he goes live, it would just be to post him playing music, and then he jumps off the live. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like he was really active on social media in the first place. So to expect... And he's not the only one like that. A lot of artists are not like active social media users consistently going live, consistently posting and, go, and, 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 you know, taking back the post, but always like having their timeline or popping up on your timeline in some kind of way. If you're not one of those kind of artists, I feel like prison, like it can do a whole bunch of, you know, it could set you back with a whole bunch of other stuff. But when it comes to keeping a more of a social media presence, it's just, it makes it even worse. Right. If you weren't there on social before, it'll look weird now that like, OK, you're inside. Now you're posting heavy on social. It just doesn't even make sense. So, it, you know, I don't really think that we're going to see a lot from Doovy until it's like progress. And as far as like the case itself, they're not going to be talking about it online. They're not going to be talking about the um, the developments of the case because it's super serious. 
You know what I mean? Even if I, not to say that I do have information, but if I had like a bunch of info, I wouldn't be going down this this rabbit hole of information or talk right now. I wouldn't be like, yo, well, you know, well, one thing that is happening with him, I, I don't know, man. I, I really, even behind the scenes, I wish I did know, just so I can at least gauge in my brain maybe when we can see the end of the tunnel for, for Doovie's case. But salute to him, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, so much potential, though. So fucking much potential. And and big up to top five, too. He's definitely, um, I don't want to put their names in the same sentences and stuff like that, but, like, we have a whole bunch of incarcerated rappers who were very productive when they were on road. And... um. It's just a, it just sucks that um some of the most productive and some of the most sought after Toronto rappers like those two right there are are doing time. Um even with top 5 or people asking for an update um for him he's been still active online. He has his team posting for him um online do, doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Um you know, I, I speak to him now and again, um, as well as other rappers. Don't get me wrong. Top five, not the only rapper that I speak to from jail or, or, or person I speak to from jail. Other people, I get jail calls. You know what I'm saying? It comes with the territory. And he he seems in very good spirits. I'll tell you guys that. Okay. He seems optimistic about his return to the six as far as before the end of this year. And it's never a shaking it rough type of phone call. It's always what's going on next. How could the city get bigger? You know what I'm saying? It's never like, how could I get bigger? It's how could the whole city get bigger? You know what I'm saying? And for that, I rate him for that. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be the most lit rapper and just say, yo, me, 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 me. How could I get it for me, 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 me? But like, I'll tell you all real like man constantly wants to know how the whole city can like improve and prosper off this rap game. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing that I, I, I amongst other things, but that's one thing very specifically that I, I rate him a lot for making, you know, looking out for the whole city, uh, the whole well being of the rap scene uh, of the whole rap scene rather than just himself. We love hip hop.